there, welcome to the probably the worst book idea I've ever had in my life. I've decided to start a YouTube channel. I will be doing the mani that's on my right hand, which is green with gold chrome tips. This was actually requested to me by someone on Facebook on the Marla Chris Mani Fam group. Uh, and I thought, you know what, why not? Let's give it a try. Uh, so I'm using the Nitro Nail base color, or color base, or whatever and the New Genesis Four Leaf Clover Powder, which is a bright green. This is actually not the same green I have on my right hand. On my right hand, I have Sparkle & Co's Take My Money, DP38. Um, the reason I'm not using the same one is because I have the mini and I don't want to waste such a good color. So I'm using a much larger jar in a slightly different color for that reason. So this is a basic dip application. I am only applying the base to the center of my nail. I'm avoiding the side walls and free edge. Sorry, not the free edge, the cuticle area. <laughs> Please put it on the free edge. Um, so this is just for the first layer and I've sped this up so we don't have to sit through me doing my nails for what felt like two hours. And then after you've applied the first layer, you will see that my hands are incredibly green. I turned into the Hulk, Shrek, Elphaba, Gamora, however you want to put it for this video. Uh, this, this pigment did stain my hand quite a bit, especially upon removal. My fingernails are still green to this moment. But I'm now going in with my second coat, covering the entire nail, uh, right up to the edge of the cuticle, and I will be doing two layers of this. I'm just going in with a toothpick just to clean up the cuticle area so if you have excess powder there and you go to activate it it is quite a pain to get rid of so just a suggestion you can also use an orange wood stick if that suits you better just whatever you've got lying around works pretty well uh, so now I'm going in with the third layer of the green and I'll be back in a second it for the green pigment thankfully look how green my hands are wow all right now I'm going in with a clear coat from gelish this is a clear as day powder this is just to make sure that when I'm filing it down I'm not actually taking away any of the color you don't have to do this with a flat color like I'm using now uh, definitely use it if you're using a glitter but I just use it on all of them just in case because I am not focused enough to actually remember to not file down the color all the way <laughs> Alrighty, dust off the excess, and then I went ahead and filed off camera uh, after I've activated. Realizing that now. <laughs> Look how good that activator is. That is uh, gelish as well. So yes, I filed off camera. I did not file the top of my nails because I will be going in with a uh, gel top coat, and that does need something that is rough or tacky to stick to. So now onto the part that is really the bane of my existence at the moment is the chrome french tips 
So I found these stickers. I have no idea where I got them from. They've just been lying around the house for many a year. Uh, but they are French tip guides. They are my savior, but also one of the hardest things I have ever tried to put on my nail in my life. Um, I'm only gonna show you this one nail because otherwise you'd be sitting here for 10 hours watching me trying to just peel it off the packet rather than actually putting it on my nail. Um, so here I'm just putting it where I roughly think I want the French to go. So I want to leave the gap at the top. And I'm going in with my Aimely, Aimely, I have no idea how to say that. Uh, no wipe top coat. You can use any as long as it is no wipe top coat. So you want to take a really tiny bit of this on the brush. And now you only want to apply it to the tip of your nail. Do not go over the sticker if at all possible, it will peel up a bit. But make sure that you're also covering the side walls and free edge of this because you want the chrome to stick to as much of it as possible. So as you can see, I'm going in really carefully. This is about as steady and as focused as I have ever been in my life, trying to get this done. So once that's all right, just cure it for 15 seconds and 15 seconds only. And then you want to very, 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 very gently peel off that piece of tape. Alrighty, so I've got this gold chrome powder. I purchased this from Millenni Nail Art Supplies, uh, based in Melbourne here in Australia, good to support local. And so this is just a straight up gold powder. You just want to use I, look, I don't want to call it an eyeshadow thing because I don't think anyone's used that for eyeshadow in like 30 years, but you know what I mean. You, now, you only want to apply it to where you've placed the gel. It may stick elsewhere, which yes, it happened to me. Let's just get over it. Let's pretend it never happened. But you want to cover, make sure you're covering that entire space that you covered it with gel. So, side walls, free edge, and you want to get as much of a good, neat curve as you can, otherwise it's going to look really tacky, and I learned that the hard way. Alright, so gold powder on. You want to just brush off any excess you have, otherwise you will also end up with bits of gold flake all over your green. So going in again, this time you want to cover the entire nail, cuticle to free edge with your gel top coat, going over the chrome, and this is essentially the last step of this mani. So once you've gone in with that, make sure to cap the free edge and side walls. You want to cure this in an LED or UV lamp for an entire minute. Once that is done, you can see, well, you can see now, <laughs> the French has been achieved. I went ahead and finished up my nails. Thank you so much for joining me here. Hopefully I will be encouraged enough to do more videos, but I hope you enjoyed this one. If you did, like and subscribe. Thanks guys.